Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Puppet Enters the Race. So, we're getting pretty close to the end now. We've got the safety helmet for Pep, we've got the old gas can, but we still need the tires as well as the flag with our number on it. Also, I want to show off the car wash and the coloring area, which will require me to make some money. Hopefully that won't be too bad. So let's start... Actually, let's start by going back to Rover's, because... I ended up drinking the milk he gave us, and we're gonna need a different. Hey, Rover! Get the bottle. Could I please have another carton of icy cold milk, Rover? Here's your milk, Pot Pot. <laughs> Should, don't drink too much milk, though. It's not safe. That's really cold. Thanks, Rover. I think I'll hold on to this. Yeah, that's a good idea, Pot Pot. <laughs> Alright. Let's go down here to Mr. Fenderbender's. Now that we've got some milk, maybe we can coax his cat under out from under his tree. Uh, under his tree? Under his house. I have some milk, Mr. Fender Bender. Maybe that would do the trick. By all means. I mean, by all means. Give it a try. Here, kitty. Here, Bunzo. Come and get it. Aww. My pings and pistons, you did it. Now I'd better be on the safe side and cover up that hole so he doesn't go bolting down there again. Wow, a racing flag! Yep, genuine certified. Real good at hugging poles, too. I mean, plugging holes. Gee, I sure could use a racing flag. Happy to give it to you, Pit Pit. If you find me something else to plug up the hole. You know what, Mr. Fender Bender? I think I might have something that will work. Peachy son, let's have a look. So, he has a certified racing flag. A, how does it, that even get certified? It's literally a triangular piece of paper. And also, he just happened to have the tape on it in his in his car. Okay, wow, that's that's real great. Let's use the that's tire patch the tire kit. tire patch kit. I need to go find some scissors and cut out the right shape so Chuck can patch his tire. Okay, thanks for the info, dump. Pot Pot. I was trying to put that in there. No, let's use a brick. I have something to plug up that hole, Mr. Fender Bender. I was too lazy to get him one of those free bricks. It's a brick! Couldn't be poor perfect. I mean, more perfect, son. Slide her on in there. Yeah! Uh. Plug that perfect hole. Perfect fit! You go ahead and keep that flag. I certainly have no need for it anymore. Wow! Thanks, Mr. Fender Bender! Now I just have to put my official racing number on it. That's true. We still don't have the official racing number. Thankfully, the library has the stuff we need. We went there earlier. I shouldn't bother him. He's reading. That's it. I built the box. I want to eat the proofs. Now I have to take it back to Mr. Baldini. All right, first things first. Let's put the number four on this bad boy. Look at all the numbers! Redline Rick told me I need to have my official number on my racing flag. Let's see, I think he said I need a four. Yeah, but let's put a seven on, or no, we're number That's one. That's a one. That number's two. That one's four. That's the number I need for my flag. Boom. Number four. All right, and now we've got the tire patch uh, kit. Let's cut it out, shall we? I need to cut this tire patch kit for Chuck. Now, which shape did Chuck need his tire patch kit cut into? So there's a square here, and we can I also I think go I'll to the get a page. new sheet. Next page That's is a, a triangle. triangle. I think I'll get a new sheet. And then it'll go back sheet. to a square. So you've got triangles and squares. Sometimes Chuck will need That's a triangle. A square. Sometimes he'll need a square. We need a square. So we got to cut out the outline. Now, we can't go too far inside the lines. Otherwise, it won't work. So... Sometimes the scissors can be a bit problematic. So it'll go at, I, believe, I believe it'll go as far as the last yellow dot. It, you don't need to be this perfect, but I like I like it being nice and neat. Great! I cut a square! Now I can help Chuck fix his flat tire. Bada-beam-bada-boom, we have the square. 
Let's hope it's the right size square, Putt Putt, or else we're still going to be in trouble. Nothing there, alright. I'm kind of on the lookout for more empty bottles. Or actually, I think the stuff near people's houses only spawns once. Hey, Chuck! What's up? Here we go. Here you go, Chuck! Here's your tire patch kit cut into a square! And we come full circle. Why, Putt Putt, are you ever something? Why don't you slap that thing on me so I can be on my way? Okay, here goes! Now you broke your pump. Good as new. Thanks to you. Well, I better get rolling. Drop by the tire center anytime, Putt Putt. I'd be more than happy to give you a deal on a new set of tires. Wow, I could use a set of super speedy radial racing tires for the big race. Well then, come on down, little buddy. I'll make you a deal of a lifetime. See ya. So we came full circle. In the first game, Chuck saved Papa when he ran over the nails. Now we saved Chuck when he ran over the nails. Moral of the story, someone needs to pick up those dang nails. Seriously, how do you even get nails in Car Town? That's gotta be like a lethal weapon of some kind. Anyhow, that's not that important. Let's go back to Baldini's and give him some produce. Here you go, Mr. Baldini! Thank you, Putt Putt. And just like I promised, here's a two of coins. Yeah! Hey. We need those coins. You're welcome! And if you want to fill up another produce box, you just let me know. All right, yeah, let's do that. Also, every time you go to his uh, store, he gets more produce. So first he only had the pumpkins, now he has the tomatoes in there. And he'll get Would more. Would you like to go back to the farm and pick me up some more produce? Sure, yes, Sure, I can do that. What do you need this time? Well, uh, let me see. I need a one of orange, one of zucchini, and a one of head of lettuce. You got it, Mr. Baldini. Thank you so much, Apart Apart. Goodbye, and a good luck. Cool. Yeah, it's supposed to be every time you bring him back more produce, he gets more produce in his store. But actually, just every time you exit the screen and enter again, he'll get more produce. Not sure if that's in the way it's supposed to be or if that's a glitch. Anyhow, we got five coins. Now, we need four coins to buy the tires at Chuck's. But forget that. I want to go and get a car wash. An empty bottle? This doesn't belong here. I should recycle it. Okay, man. People in this car town are just... They're big soda drinkers, and then they just dump it on the ground. This is completely unacceptable. That's one coin. All right, we get a second one. That's two coins. Thank you. You may now drive through. Great! Nice. I wonder what would happen if we drove off. Would it still be open later? Ready to get squeaky clean! Wow, this has changed a lot since Papa joins the parade. In that one, it looked like an actual car wash. In this one, it's like you're taking a bath. That's kind of interesting. Alright, let's start by vacuuming. I was gonna use that hamburger! Nope, nope, don't suck up pep. That's a no-no. Ooh, I needed that! You had, like, old hamburgers in there you weren't using anything with? Okay. It's a great day for a race! The Car Town 500. <laughs> the countdown starts right now for the biggest race added to the outlook for the weather today for the Car Town. Race around, round, round. Put your top down today after the. Don't listen to your. Uh, don't listen to your radio while you're taking a bath, Papa. That's a bad idea. Poor Papa. Don't open your eyes when there's water pouring on you. That's no a bad idea. Sting bubbles. Oh, let's get those bubbles, shall we? Dang, they've got like automatic arms to do it for. Wow, this is the fanciest car wash I've ever seen. Oh, hot ziggity yay, when I join the race today. I'll zip around to fast, filled with high octane gas. 
Okay. Singing in the car wash, it's a wonderful thing to get covered in bubbles and then pop them ping, ping. Ping, 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 ping. Rain, rain, don't go away. Stick around the live long day. In the water I want to play. Rain, rain, don't go away. Interesting take on that song, Papa. Oh, the Speedway drivers sing this song. Zoom, 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 zoom. Speedway track is five miles long. Zoom around all day. Hey! <laughs> Papa has some interesting takes on normal songs. Oh, hot ziggity, yay. No, thank you. Ooh, let's do this. Yeesh. Nice. This will scrub me clean. <laughs> that just looks weird when there's no bubbles on him. <laughs> no sting bubbles. Yeah. It's time for a shower. Oh, that looks so satisfying. They did a great job adding all these details in the car wash, didn't they? Like, depending on if you have bubbles or not, different stuff can happen. Bubbles. Now, I want to know, if we're covered in bubbles, can we just... <laughs> that was good, clean fun. Alright, Papa can just shake the bubbles off, no problem. Now we're... now we smell nice, which it is good. Says toys. Yes, it does. Let's go to change our color with our... let's spend our life savings getting Whoa, our color changed. Whoa, another empty bottle. I think I'll recycle it. It's another empty bottle. People sure are lazy about throwing their trash away. That's one of three. Now there's two more and you're through the door. Okay. That's two buckaroo, thank you kindly. <laughs> this guy's so polite. I love his accent, too. Yeehaw, that's all three. Get ready to drive on through. All right, let's see how the color place has changed. Looks so much more modern. Pick your color, cowboy. Let's choose... Ooh, well, first off, does this do different stuff? No, we can't interact with like, any of the stuff in here. That's kind of annoying. Let's make ourselves purple. Put, put purple. <laughs> this will make a huge difference. I hope this looks good. Now close your eyes real tight, partner. Yep. I can definitely see the difference, dude. Oh, Dane. And that's there to harden the paint. I didn't know that as a kid. I'm like, why does that? Here you go, sharpshooter. Take a look. I look literally no different. <laughs> I look good. I forgot how vain Putt Putt is. Like, he looks at the mirror, he's just like, I look good. <laughs> oh man, there's so many good colors. And then two bad ones. I don't really like orange or yellow particularly. Fire engine red, just like Smokey. I think I'm going to like this. Now close your eyes real tight, partner. I like how it actually changes the color of your dashboard in this as well. It's a good touch. Also, it's hard to see the menu sign now. Hey, partner. Have a peek. Now you look different. This looks great! Hot ziggity, that was fun! Yeah, it was. Hey, we paid free coins to go in here. We're gonna get free coins worth. Orangey orange! As opposed to what? Oh boy! Now close your eyes real tight, partner. Nice job. You look like a Tootsie Pop now, Pup Pup. That's just fantastic. Sunny yellow! Actually, yellow doesn't look too bad. I normally don't like the color yellow, but. Cool blue! Nice. That looks pretty good, but I'm gonna have to go with... Lime green. My favorite color. 
I hope this looks Not specifically good. lime green. Apple green. Dry. Real tight, partner. It's an interesting way of painting. They have like a gun. This was before Splatoon, just so you guys know. So Splatoon ripped off Pubblet Enters the Race. I would just like to say it. We look so good. Green Pubblet is the best Pubblet. Here, check this out, Sonny. <laughs> I love how the owner of the color place is like a southern cowboy. Yeah. Looking good. <laughs> yeah. All right. That, wowie, that's. Wowie, wowie! I like that. Yeah. Hey, folks! Don't forget to recycle those bottles. Yeah, I'm talking to you people, everyone who's not putt putt. I've learned that you guys are just leaving empty bottles lying around. There's a pig in the tree and a green pig. Now we know where green ham comes from. Uh, you look a little, you look a little scared, Bonzo. He's cute though. <laughs> I just stopped by to see how you were doing. Well, except for a few fence in my dender. I mean, dents in my fender. I couldn't be better. Nice. You never know what Bonzo's gonna do next. One day, he chased Mrs. Airbag's log, I mean, chased her dog all the way into town. I never heard of a cat chasing a dog. Bonzo is a little goofy, isn't he? The goofiest? Yeah, he reminds me of my cat. It's just my cat's black instead of orange. How about this wacky cat? I've been trying to train Bonzo all morning. Don't think he's learned a thing. Maybe you just have to keep on trying. Maybe. Cats don't... I mean, actually, cats learn very well, but they don't learn what you want them to learn. They're very independent. I, I, we, we domesticated dogs. Cats domesticated us. That's kind of the way I see it. Anyhow... Oh, yeah. Not again. Whoops. Move it, move it. It's a one-lane tunnel. Jeez. I, don't you have more people in the army than just you, dude? Come on. Hey, check out I'm your color. I have a little song about the vegetable tasty. Nope. I heard the zucchini one. If I were a bunny hopping all around, I'd go into my field and pull a carrot from the ground. They're orange and they're crunchy and they're also good for you. A carrot is so tasty, even cooked into a stew. Carrots are pretty awesome. One of my favorite vegetables. If you want to grow up big and strong, always feeling fine, try some of my spinach. It's great anytime. Is that so? What can be a chip or a fry so yummy? Potatoes are appealing, especially in my tummy. For breakfast or for lunch, or even for a snack. Potatoes are so good, come and get them by the stack. Um, yes please. Potatoes are the best vegetable. I I've pretty much have never met a potato that I didn't like. The one thing is like, I don't really like potato soup. But holy cow, potatoes are freaking amazing. Uh, yes, I 100% agree, Torvald. I have a row of cabbage which I grow upon my farm. This tasty vegetable certainly has a charm. I can shred it for a salad or boil it for a stew. The cabbage that I grow is a gift from me to you. This is so nice. This guy's great. My peas all grow so snug, yeah, tucked into their shells. They hang upon the vine until they're big and ready to sell. Snap open a pod, a taste so crunchy sweet. My peas upon the pod really are a treat. Nice. Peas are also delicious. Rutabagas are so tasty, pull them from the ground. Their flavor is so wonderful, I'd eat them by the pound. Cook them in a pot, or fry them in a pan. Rutabagas are so tasty, get them while you can. That I'm gonna disagree with you on. Honestly, like, I love carrots, I love potatoes, but those are kind of the two root vegetables I do like. Otherwise, it's like, oh, you want parsnips? You want rutabagas? It's like, no, I'd take potatoes in any other situation. Sorry. I like the little tree that's known as broccoli. All steamed up on a plate, a vegetable so great. Nope, nope. You and I have different views on broccoli. I'm I out of here. I wonder where I can find the vegetables Mr. Baldini asked for. All right, so he wanted lettuce. Well, guess what? Lettuce is like basically as close as we can get. 
It's right here. A head of lettuce. I need one of those. I think I'll pick it. It's the infinitely growing lettuce uh, plant. So we need lettuce, we need zucchini, and we need oranges. Sweet. Those are all pretty darn easy to get, actually. Hey, it's a zucchini. I need some of those. I think I'll pick some. Yeah. I just love the music in here is amazing. There's a couple tracks that can play, and they're all great. Now we need oranges. I think we can find oranges up here. Sure enough. I can't pick that from here. Oranges. I've got to get one for Mr. Baldini. I better pick it. That's it. I filled the box. Now I have to take it back to Mr. Baldini. Also, I believe it's this box. If okay, so you look. The orange has a nice like white shine to it. If we look in the That's box. That's it. I filled the box. Now I have to take it back to Mr. Baldini. I believe it just turned a little bit darker. I might be completely wrong on that, but there's one thing of produce where if you pick it, it'll be like white, and then it, when you put it, like when you look in the box, it'll get darker. It's kind of weird. Well, okay, that was a really easy trip. That's way easier than the first one we did. It was like a nice straight line to those. Hey, dude, what's cracking? <laughs> Trying to do the more modern lingo. So now he has carrots in there, even though we haven't given him the go, produce Mr. yet. Here you go, Mr. Baldini. <gasps> I love vegetables. Thank you, Putt Putt. And just like I promised, here's a two of coins. Thanks. Yeah. Good for us. All right, we have You're two welcome. coins. And if you want to fill up another produce box, you just let me know. Sure, why not? We need two more coins anyways. Would you like to go back to the farm and pick me up some more produce? Only if you give me the sure, full-time benefits. Sure, Mr. Baldini. What do you need? Well, uh, let me see. I need a one of apple, a one of carrot, and a one of head of cauliflower. You oh, it's the carrot Mr. that Baldini. changes. That's right. You are a great helper, Putt Putt. Sounds great. Also, one thing we need to do is we have the old gas can, but it's not filled with gas yet. Kinda gotta change that. This bottle doesn't belong on the ground. Yeah, come on, people. It's regular gas. I think I'll try a little. Regular gas, which is apparently free. Dane. Redline Rick said I should use the extra high-powered, high-acting gasoline for the race. This is just regular gas. Oh uh, well, fill it up with air. I'm not sure that will work. Okay, fine. Fill it Extra up with this. Extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. Fill her up. Wow, it just, like, got fat. That's not how gas cans work. Great. I've got enough for the race. <laughs> gas cans are made of metal. When they're, like, if they are, like, crack, crack, not cracked. If they are bent a little bit and, like, squeezed inwards a bit, filling it up with liquid is not going to puff it out like that. That has been your physics lesson for the day by Colorful Artie. That's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. It will be the last episode of Path 1. We're going to finish everything up. we got to go back to Torval's farm, get the last produce for Mr. Baldini, and then bring it back to him. Then, after that, we can go to Chuck's and get some tires, and then we're going to actually enter the race. You know, the actual point of the game. We, Papa enters the race. Well, he hasn't entered the race just yet. He still has to pass all the preliminaries. Anyhow, look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.